Hello, we're group number 10. My name is Jorge Larrarte, and as our mechanical uh, first project of mechanical design tool, we're going to analyze the airbag design. Introduction. Uh, the airbag, is, for majority of people, airbag is only like a bag that open, uh, inflates at the moment of a collision, but in theory, it's more complex. It's a more complex system. Uh, combining, uh, this system is, is basically like a composed by Fresh sensor, inflator, and an airbag. Of course, through the years, this system has helped like, to reduce the risk of a death and injuries by 30% or less. Also, uh, in the following slide, we are going to explain uh, how this may, how this system works as a mechanism, uh, different types, uh, the improvement that we recommend because everything we can do better. You know, we can design everything better. Materials and construction. The, this, the airbag is basically like, a, as, a, as I said before, is composed like a, from the near a crash sensor. This, the crash sensor uh, sends a signal to, to the near and then creates a chemical reaction here that produces uh, nitrogen gas at a hot temperature and to deploy the, the airbag. This, uh, fil this has filters here that are based, uh, that are made of uh, wire, wire mesh of stainless steel or post aluminum, and, and in some cases, there are uh, filters with uh, ceramic. So, as I said before, at the moment of a collision, this is like a, for some examples, like an airbag, it shouldn't be deployed like with a heat that it doesn't have too much forces. The force required to deploy the airbag is, is what is in the case that you are traveling like a 50 miles per hour and you hit a, a wall, uh, to make an example. This sensor, as I said, produces an electrical response that goes to the inflator uh, uh, airbag system and deploy the, where it produces a chemical reaction between gases uh, that will be uh, sodium aside and to create an, a hot and a hot uh, an, an nitrogen gas at a hot temperature, which makes deploy the the rack. Uh, these few seconds, also, um, this is in like in milliseconds. This little portion of time could say a lot because I mean, at the moment of ignition, the airbag deploys, but at the same time, it cools down and the airbag like just inflate itself and make a, I mean help to provide. A, so safety and secure the, the people uh, in the, the driver and the passenger. So I leave you with Lorraine Fuentes. Thank you. Current designs are mostly kept similar between vehicles. Mostly they all have the same similar quantity and have the same typical designs, but it varies according to type of vehicle, model, and of course the company that makes them. For instance, a typical quantity in a vehicle is varies between six to eight airbags, in which two are located on the front panel of the vehicle protecting the driver and the passenger and the co-pilot. Also, two on the front seats protecting the passengers on the rear side of the vehicle, and another pair on the sides of the vehicle protecting all the passengers in case of a rollover accident. Another aspect, very important aspect of current designs is the fact that we now have advanced sensors and a, an advanced inflator system. And this makes this section of the design makes sure that the airbag deploys at the right time and at the right impact. Because if this doesn't happen, it's like the whole system is useless. It won't protect the passengers. Another important aspect is the variable deployment rate as well as the passenger activation and deactivation variable. The airbag design system is governed mostly by a sophisticated computer called a restraint control module, and it is located in the center console between the driver and the co-pilot. This computer makes sure to translate the information collected from a collision of a vehicle, and it's grabs information on how fast the vehicle is decelerating, which is a key component in the actual inflation system. Also, with every product that is out there, um, 
A lot of testing must be done to guarantee and ensure that the product works perfectly, especially if the product in question deals with an issue as important as safety. Because when we're dealing with the lives of people and the lives of children, the fact that it has to work is of utmost importance. For airbags, there are three main important tests. The first of them being the differential and the equal pressure method. And this test tests mainly the actual material of the bag, mostly the laminar film and the other films that compose the bag. This is done by having uh, the same pressure throughout the, ca the cage in which it is tested and a differential pressure. The second test is the smoothness and ease of deploy, which measures like the whole process that should be smooth in order to make sure that the bag deploys correctly. This is done by using coefficients of friction. Lastly, we have the voltage and impact test, and I have to say that I think it's the most important because it makes sure it makes sure that people are involved, and you can see them in this picture over here. It makes sure um, that components are resistant, such as stress and strain. And now, I will present Jose Arrau to discuss the rest of the presentation. In future development, a new culture. In our days, uh, one of the companies that have become with the, a great idea related to the airbag system is, uh, is Ford. This new idea is called Inflatable Rear Safety Belt. This uh, idea combines two important tips that any car has to have, like the belt and the airbag system. Uh, these uh, belts like inflate a small regular rate in compared to the regular airbags. And it's very important because this provides like a better protection for your neck, your chest, and your head. The way that this system works is with a lot of sensors that are on the, on the, like in the front part of the rear seat of the car. These sensors like um, recognize uh, the, the accident and they send uh, like a, they sent uh, a beep to the to, to the sensor and it produced like the the, the two tubular airbag airbag uh, inflates and we compress CO2. Uh, well, uh, another new development that has become these days is the called jumbo. The jumbo is very similar to the system that is used for racing cars. Why? Because this inflates around your around your shoulders and your chest, and that provides you to keep, uh, to a better safety to to your neck. Uh, what what it does is that it keeps you at, next to the seat at all moments of the crash. New concept. Well, another new concept that is very interesting is a motorcycle airbag jacket. Why? Because what well, you know. Uh, most of the crashes where motorcycles are involved, the rider died. So this kind of technology, what it does is that protect the life of the riders. Uh, well, this technology, as you can see here, it protects the vertical column uh, when you fell the chest and the neck, that is very important. The way that this uh, system works is with a cable. The cable goes from here, from this part of the jacket, to the bike. And in the moment of a crash, when the rider is exposed or is ejected from the bike, the system sends uh, uh, the sensors send uh, uh, the sensors uh, send the CO2 uh, and inflates around the, the neck. And when you fall, it's gonna be like involved in a bike, so it's like very very interesting. More recommendations for these two kind of airbags that I already told you, the, uh, for the bikes, I think that we should like invent something that is wireless. Why? Because sometimes what happens is you go in the, back, uh, in the bike, and then you're gonna like get down the bike, and you still have the, like, the, the little wire stick to the bike. It can inflate, and it's not an accident. So that's like a good recommendation. So instead of use a cable, use a wireless sensor. So that can recognize the, the accident as the, the, like the, the ones that the car has. 
and the other one is the development of a reusable airbag system. This is important because every time well, when you have a crash, the airbag system goes out, right? And then you gotta replace it and it's a new one. And it's kind of expensive. So it would be better if there is like a, somehow a, a, a good manner to put that back again into the car. Safety tips. Uh, leave a distance for no less than 30 centimeters between the steering wheel and the driver's breastbone. Your children should ride in the back seat of the car. Uh, make proper use of the wheel with traditional position. If the shuttle is in position, adjust it so that it points to the center of the chest, not the head. If a child rides in front of a seat, he must probably use a safety belt with the seat and back race as fast as, as possible. And never, never put a baby in the front of an airbag. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.